Hi, my name is Chris Dion. I'm a solution architect here at Microfocus. Uh, and today I'm going to be showing you how UOT developer can create automation test scripts for mobile devices through our integration with our UFT mobile uh, solution. Now what I have open already in front of us is our IDE of choice, my personal preference, IntelliJ, uh, and also the language of my choice, which is Java uh, in this case. Uh, what we also start seeing, the most important thing when we start creating a test script, is the fact that we have this line of code, this device uh, line. This will be able to go to our UFT mobile uh, version, our UFT mobile's uh, instance, and be able to check out uh, an individual device based off of this green text, this uh, device ID. Uh, now, if we want to actually check out the device to record our test scripts based off of our interactions with it, as well as get uh, to have a more, uh, to get that device ID, all we simply need to do is go into our UFT developer tab, go into our uh, launch a UFT mobile device option. And then we'll be uh, querying UFT mobile to show us a list of all the available devices uh, for us to check out. Uh, in this case, I want to be selecting the uh, this device right here. Now, if we want the actual de uh, the device ID of that, we simply need to copy and paste this, uh, this number right here uh, listed below. Once we have our device selected, we're going to be uh, clicking on there and checking it out. And once that device has been checked out, we'll actually start seeing a live stream of that physical device shown to us. Now, once we have that device, we can do a multitude of different things to it. Uh, the one I'm going to be showing you today is how to actually interact with the applications that are already installed on it and also the applications we have stored inside of UFT Mobile already. Okay, and this is done by clicking on to the application interactions. And what is gonna happen is that we're going to be seeing a list of applications we see in front of us, uh, going from the application that I wanna show you to the Advantage Shopping uh, mobile application. Now this application is already installed, but what I want to do is to in fact launch it. So I can do that from this command here. Once that application has been launched, we can then start utilizing our test recorder, which again, we would go back into our IntelliJ IDE, go into UOT Developers tab and click on the test recorder. And once that test recorder has started, we can then uh, start our recording, pro uh, recording session. Now, in, in, once the recording session starts, we will have options to end the test, like we see on the far left, be able to pause it, as well as add some verification steps. Again, we're wanting to verify uh, some key details during uh, in our applications, uh, rather than simply traverse through it. Now, I'm going to click on laptops. I am then going to go into Chromebook. And notice at the very top left, as I'm interacting with my application, we're generating scripts. And I want to actually uh, verify that the Chromebooks are actually uh, the proper link. So if I click on the Chromebooks in the catalog, I should be able to see the actual Chromebooks uh, product, uh, product details. So I click on our verification and click on the actual title. Uh, here we actually see a list of properties and values we can test against, but again, I'm mostly concerned about the text value of equaling to the uh, HP uh, Chromebook 14. Once we've added that, we've successfully created uh, a complete test case, in which case we can actually stop our recording session. Um, and usually what would we want to do is we want to terminate the application as well because uh, again we want to leave the application as if uh, no user was on it previously on the device. Uh, going back to our test recorder however, uh, each of these lines we actually have the ability to uh, input some comments. So if we wanted to start seeing something like launch the advantage app, we can do so pretty easily. Again, we can verify our Java language very easily by clicking on the top left and selecting from the options that we see are 
uh, IDE supports. And once we have that option established, we can then click onto our uh, uh, this uh, icon over here to generate and copy the code that we uh, created in our recording session. Once we click out, we can then start going back into our test case, going into our uh, test section of our test script, and copy and pasting it. Now when we've run this test again, which we, we can do on the top right, we'll see that the test case in the bottom left is actually being recorded. And as we pull up our device again, we're launching that advanced online application and we are going through the use case that we just initially recorded. The test case will be shown on the bottom left here, showing that everything has indeed passed. And if we want a more in-depth reporting capabilities, we simply need to go into our View of T Developer tab inside of the View Last Results option. And from here, we can actually start looking at all of our individual steps, including our verification step, in which case we actually did see the HP Chromebook 14 was in fact the same uh, product details uh, that we saw uh, in, our, uh, in our playback. So that is essentially our UFT developer uh, mobile script that again, we integrated very, uh, very easily through our UFT mobile device. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.